So you know these YouTube channels where the viewers write comments and in some video they're like Like show this do this everyone's on screen and the youtuber is all like you asked for it That is, that is kind of what happened to me But I thought it was a pretty damn good idea You see before I started making YouTube videos uh, I did these one minute builds and then I uploaded that to uh, Instagram These were great but they, they were a tad uh, stressful. I, I hope you enjoyed this build. There's a link to the source code in my profile if you'd like to try it for yourself. <sighs> so when this viewer suggested that I would redo that build in another video, uh, where I could kind of take the time to explain how it all works and, you know, I thought it was a pretty solid idea. Alrighty then, so the build we're looking at today is a music controller. The idea behind it is that I wanted to uh, control either Spotify or iTunes from an Arduino. It's made up out of three buttons uh, to control play, pause uh, and skip to the previous or next track. An LCD screen is displaying the track that is currently playing. The potentiometer is used to control the volume. And in the middle of all of this is an Arduino Nano that kind of drives the whole thing. So how does this work? Well, it, it is kind of a hack. You know these apps that you download to like your iPad and they let you control your computer in some way? At first it kind of seems like magic, but then you see that little text that tells you to download their companion app and the magic is gone and the world starts to make sense again. And this project is no different. Um, on my desktop computer I have this tiny little application running. So that application is listening for commands sent by this Arduino via serial that is over USB and the desktop app would then take a suitable action. It will generate some Apple script that is then executed uh, on the computer. And if you want to know more about Apple script you'd have to go somewhere else because I basically stacked overflow that whole thing. I'm just going to quickly show you uh, the basics of Apple Script so you get an idea of what it is and what it can do. It will let you talk to applications like Spotify. So the first thing that you want to do is to start the application called Script Editor. And in here you basically write English. We're going to switch the song that is currently playing now on Spotify to the next song. So we tell application Spotify to play next track and then when we execute the track is changed similar we can do the previous track so in order to get the artist's name and the name of the currently played track we tell application Spotify to get artist of current track and get name of current track but instead of writing these uh, Apple scripts myself I'm letting the application that is running on the computer generate and run the scripts but I'll put a link in the description if you want to read more about Apple script and um, from Apple's documentation about it but since we can control more than just uh, the, the next track and uh, we can also control the previous and play pause uh, we have to be able to send different types of commands to the application running on the desktop. So, so basically the application needs to know what the user is trying to do. We, 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 de we define a, a small protocol or, or a set of commands if you will. So the protocol for this project is basically uh, different strings sent from the Arduino to the application running on the desktop. So when it, whenever the I mean, Arduino sends a P that means uh, we want to switch to the previous track. And whenever we send a, an N, we want to switch to the next track. Uh, and then whenever we send a capital T, that means we want to toggle the play pause. The really only tricky thing is the volume, where we will send a V followed by one byte worth of, uh, of numbers. Say we press the button, 
we send over USB the uh, the character N. The app is also listening for uh, for changes uh, in terms of uh, currently played track. Whenever this happens and we execute the command to switch tracks, we'll get a um, new track event. We'll format the artist and the song's name and send that over in, in, in text. And then on the Arduino we will then uh, display this um, artist and track on the LCD. And here you can see the code on the, on, the, on the computer side of things where we figure out what command the Arduino sent us over serial and then we execute uh, the appropriate function. If you want to build this uh, or something similar, at least my source code could, could be a potential starting place. You can find the link for the 3D printed case uh, down in the description together with uh, well, the source code. If you like this video, you know, you know what to do. Play, pause. Uh, where's the...